Do you have a comment or question about Stein? Right, yeah. I, I think it was uh, discussed earlier um, ab about the readers who are not speakers of the, uh, who are not the, who, who do not have English as their uh, first language. And um, um, I think uh, for me, because uh, reading Stein is actually quite a bit of a struggle for me, it's very difficult to read her yeah. and to actually understand what she means. But I think it's some, in a way, it's a little bit of an advantage um, for someone like me because I tend to reread and reread and reread her. And my question is that, could it be that she actually wrote the things that she wrote in order for us to um, read her work uh, different every time uh, that, you know, every time that we read them in, in the same manner that, um, we, in the same way that we view uh, paintings, for example, and examine them, and, and every time um, we look at that, just one painting in, in speci uh, specifically, but we tend to have different things going on in our mind every time, you know, the, we, we look at it. It's always, always different. Thank you. possible that way. <laughs> Thank you for the question, Janina. Um, Bob, I'm going to. I assume you heard most of what she said, and I wonder if you could be the one to respond in any way you like. Well, just the one uh, distinction that I want to bring up. I mean, I, I that that I agree that Stein was was a, a total proponent of. Um, the the new of excitement and discovery both in writing and reading and and I think she wanted to participate in the moment of discovery every time she wrote uh, and she hoped that readers would have the same participation um, it's it's I don't think she ever was concerned about her future and that the the work would be in a sort of sh like Shakespeare imperishable or the way Joyce thought about um, Ulysses, that he wanted to keep uh, uh, readers busy for the next couple of centuries with right. all the different facts. That right. that seems very distinct from what Stein was doing. She, it's it's all about the excitement of an opening present that she is presenting to. She's enacting for herself and presenting to readers.